Hello everyone, uh, we know that the goal of segmentation is to simplify the representation of an image or to change an image into something that is more meaningful and easier to analyze. And with this statement, I can add that midterm images also need to be processed in a way that makes them to be easily analyzed. And my name is Olivier Rukundo. I have a PhD in electronics and information engineering, and this was a program that that covered both computer science and electronic topics. And uh, during my PhD research and beyond, I conducted research only on computer science topics, specifically on image processing and analysis, and later on these methodologies that apply artificial intelligence. And last year, I also had the opportunity to teach a PhD course related to image processing and analysis methodologies that apply artificial intelligence. And now here we have this picture. It shows Minitem system and here on the right side we have this image that generated by this system. And in this image you can see there are many objects with circular shapes. And when you look at this object, you can see that the inner area is whiter than the outer area. And uh, these are, I don't know, viruses. And I work as a researcher on this project, enhancing the innovation potential by advancing the know-how on biomedical image analysis. And uh, this is the project that started in 2019 and it was extended until the end of this month and in this project we work in collaboration with a company known as Finvector which is based here in Kopio and uh, this company is a leader in CGMP manufacturing of viral based gene therapy products and uh, what we did in the, this first pilot of Kubiak project is simply to uh, test method for automation of military image analysis systems. And we focused on the development of tools, for example, semi-automatic segmentation tool and automatic segmentation tool. So with semi-automatic segmentation, here it's important to understand that semi-automatic segmentation can be understood as the process whereby the automatic segmentation is followed by manual checking and editing of the result obtained automatically or obtained from automatic segmentation. So it may happen that the results are not good enough and therefore they need some checking and editing before they can be presented. And with the tool developed for semi-automatic segmentation, this tool has two main parts. The part concerned with adenovirus segmentation and another part concerned with debris segmentation. But here I will not go into the details. I will simply Add that this tool is available on Kubiak website, so if you need it, you can find it there. And here we have the interface of that tool, and here images were loaded, or images are loaded, and here we have the result of I don't know, virus segmentation. And in this result, something can be added or removed depending on how they look or on how they want them to look at the end. In that reason, we have 
installer has availed options to add or remove something on this result and here I want to play this video to show how it's done so as you can see here we started by removing something so we are removing something that is irrelevant and also here we can add something that was missed for example during automatic segmentation so here we can add something so we are still adding and we are highlighting those objects so that it can be easy to analyze them so to make image easy to analyze that's it and finally we developed a AI based method for automatic segmentation of adenoviruses and this was achieved by using the UNET. UNET is a, a commercial neural network well known and very effective for the medical image segmentation and um, it requires data to train it and then since we had very big images and then we have to use to extract patches from those images and we use those patches as input to the network and the network output masks and in those masks we outline we get the outlines to be able to use them to highlight objects in image that we want to analyze or in images we want to simplify analysis process and here we have this example here we have input and we have output and in this input image you can see we have the three other analysis and, it, and they were all highlighted in the output as shown in the output image and the most interesting thing here is that this black or this dark spot which has a circular shape as other analysis was not mistaken to other analysis as shown in the output image because it was not segmented as and I don't know, virus and highlight it accordingly. And this is something very good with this network. And then this example here, so we also we can see that all other viruses in the image were detected. Let's use the word detect, were detected in the uh, as shown in the upper image, and there were no mistake. And often, so there were the network didn't mistake these black dots all these black spots as adenovirus yeah, so this is something good with this network and here also all adenoviruses in input image were detected or highlighted as shown in the output image and no mistake regarding these black spots and here also the the adenoviruses were correctly detected as shown in the output image and what is something here we can notice what is new here is that we can see that even the network tried to detect I don't know we can see that the network tried to detect the breeze you can see this yellow and the blue outlines here so this would represent the breeze and this was the attempt made by the network but the interesting thing was to detect animal viruses but the aim here was to detect animal viruses although this attempt happened and finally in this image example we have many animal viruses in the input image and they were detected and shown in the output image and here the network again attempted to detect the breeze and uh, here uh, we have a broken adenovirus which was not mistook to standard adenovirus and it is something very good with this network and uh, this is the end of pilot one presentation thank you